Hey guys, it's Simply Imaginary People Frankie, and I was asked to make a tutorial on how to make posters for Sims 3. So, this is also the same for any other pictures you want to recolor or you want to put pictures of your families and games so they have, I guess, family pictures on the wall and stuff. So, all you're going to do is you're going to download something as a base, so find a picture or a poster that you like or you like the shape and the size of it. Let's see if I can find my one. And just open it in TSRW. You see here, I decide to go with this poster. So what you're going to go is you're going to go to textures, <coughs> and you're going to export the overlay. So you're just going to go to export and save this somewhere. And you're going to open it in Photoshop or GIMP. Awesome. What you're also going to do is you're going to open the image you want to use for your poster. So I'm going to use a more difficult one just to show you some tricks. So yeah, I want, I want this, I guess. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the poster area. If it's square already, then you just need the square selection tool, but I'm going to show you this. Let's hope it works. I'm just going to select the poster and then say copy, I'm going to paste it. And then the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to size it down a bit. Actually, I'm going to do this here, because it's easier. Okay. So I've got my poster, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image, uh, Edit, Transform, Warp. And all I'm going to do is I'm I think you can... Mm, that wasn't what I wanted. Let me use skew, and I'm just going to attempt to skew it kind of into a square, if that makes sense. square, as you can see, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll just do it again, go to image, and edit, transform, skew, so this side needs to come out a bit more, so for this side, And then I'm just going to paste it over here, delete the old one. And the first thing I'm going to do is rotate it because you'll see the picture underneath is sideways. So I'm just going to say rotate 90. Let's see if that rotated the right way. Nope. Rotate minus 90. There we go. And then I'm just going to resize it. and fit it to here. Right, make sure it does fit and cover the whole area, like this. And it's not longer than it should be. I still need to skew it a bit. And it transform. Just pull this side down and across a bit so it's square. Okay. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to save as poster, as a DDS. And then I'm going to go back to my file here, and I'm going to import. And I'm going to import poster. And you'll see, I've got my poster. And now all I'm going to do, is you can see this has like 10 recolors. 
Obviously, you can change the overlay on every single one. But all I'm going to do is because I don't want them. Oops. I'm just going to go cancel that one, delete my one. It's going to delete all the other colors. Otherwise, your file size is going to be huge and you don't want that. And I'm going to rename it and call it simply post edit minute. Description. Usually it's good to put a description so you know what it is, or if you give it to someone, they know who it's by and where to find it. And then all you can do is go to edit project contents. You're going to select everything and you're going to renumber. Click the second instance, make random, no, no. And the only reason you're going to do this is because it will give it new numbers. And that means that it won't overlap the old post. And then you're just going to export to package. And call it whatever. Done. And now I can go wherever you put it. Open it. And you'll see a shitload of image files here. So we deleted that one. We deleted that one. We deleted that one. That one. That one. These weren't even in there, which means this person didn't clean their file. So all you're going to do is you're going to just go around and delete all the image files that don't belong to your file. Which, being that this person didn't clean their package file, is a lot. So, literally I'm just deleting overlays, and I know these are overlays because they're colourful. Oh no, that one's our one. Good, there we go. And these are the ones that were in the file that we ended up deleting. I need to file. Save. Now, a smart thing to do, if you have a lot of image files that you deleted, is just to import it into TSRW again and make sure it didn't mess up. Nope, still looks good, still has that, the multiplier. Okay. Last thing, obviously, run it through Sims 3 RC. And there you have your poster. And you can do that with photo frames, you can do that with any picture, you just have to replace the overlay and you've got pictures you like. Yep, thanks for listening.